And welcome on back to Buds Talking Buds. I am here with Sean, and I'm here with Jared. I'm your boy, HT. We got a new little setup, guys. How do how, I think this is a little better. Turn like the table. Uh -huh. yeah, I like it. Now, our mics are all in front of our faces. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. kind of why we did this. I'm, I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. Daniel approves, so we're, we're rocking with it. Yeah. yeah. How's Camp everybody doing today? I'm having a great day so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a really nice one. I, guess what I heard? What? Since we're in Santa Barbara, we had three orders in Santa Barbara today. Already. Oh, yeah, this morning. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, we're, we're moving and grooving. Move, moving forward, moving yeah. forward. <laughs> positive, positive vibes here at the Source Delivery. We are ramping up. And I think these three orders, if you guys watched last week or listened to last week, um, Elijah in his priest costume, he went down to Santa Barbara. <laughs> he was slanging pre-rolls all night in that priest costume. I saw one video. It looked like it was taken about 3 a.m. on the street of Santa Barbara. Did you see this HG? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. Um... I don't know if they were joining the homeless to take a nap or what was really going on, but they were on like a little out, a little alcove off of the street next to a food vendor, crushing some some gyros. Yeah, or, euros. Yeah, yeah. Some I, euros. Was like, I was really impressed. I was like, "What food trucks out at three o'clock in the morning?" It, it, is, it, is, it was Halloween weekend. He yeah. was a priest. He probably just like made it appear or something. <laughs> you know, water into wine. You know, I need it. I need it. <laughs> oh, it was so funny though because he that episode, our last episode, he's like, "Yeah, I'm not smoking pot." And and what he does in the story on his Instagram, <laughs> he just talking yeah. like he goes, dude, here with people, beautiful people. We got heroes. We got weed. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's just a lit joint in his hand the whole time. Yeah. I'm not smoking, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a break. Oh, man. Well, that was, holiday, uh, that was Halloween. Did you do anything for Halloween? You know, okay. So Halloween specifically, no. I stayed home. I avoided all the crazy so oh, the day of yeah makes but sense. but saturday we went to a wedding um it was it was like kind of halloween themed it was really cool but we just went fancy and then uh we left and went to a halloween party after that which was super fun have that you ever been to a halloween uh wedding uh a friend of mine i didn't go well, a friend of mine on. did straight up like uh almost like mexican death uh painting dia like, de la duel this morning dia, yeah dia de los muertos there was like i caught there the people were like zombies <laughs> in the audience and everything see and like yeah. i've heard about the people yeah. that that uh invite everyone to a costume party uh -huh. and then throw their wedding so everyone's there in costumes not expecting it to be a wedding That's that was on really parks and cool. rec too was it that's an episode that, on Parks and Rec. That is awesome. I didn't watch Parks and Rec. No, that, that's why I'm like, <laughs> that, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know that, that concept, and I didn't know it really happened. Yeah, I might do that for my wedding. There you go. Sounds, that sounds inexpensive, too. <laughs> yeah, just invite, oh, you know, well, all BYOB. The, all the kids go out <laughs> trick-or-treating. They bring back all the candy. That's all the snacks oh, for the party. Perfect, perfect. Boom. Let's, let's hope they're not laced. Exactly. I mean, you know, it just, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get to that. That's, yeah. that's what we call foreshadowing <laughs> in the biz. Yeah. We'll set up. <laughs> Well, uh, Sean and I, we both live in Los Osos. I think we can say that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. both live in Los Osos. And we both saw each other's family uh, trick-or-treating. I, I was I saw, so I saw, pissed. I, I saw uh, a pretty, you, you were, a pretty looking woman. <laughs> I saw a pretty looking woman. I'm like, I, I know her. And then I look up and you just see... Uh, what are you six three? Mm -hmm. Uh, black wig, sunglasses, and like dark. What clothing. am I thinking? What's the late night talk host that always talks about sex? What's that guy? Uh, Howard Stern. That's the one. That's what I was picturing when you told me the outfit, the That's hair, actually, you kind of did. and the glasses. Yeah. I was like Howard Stern. For sure. it, it was not a costume. It was a disguise. Yeah. So I, I, he was kind of almost pissed that he saw. I, yeah. I, he was. I was actually very thankful he was the only person that recognized me because I just don't like the whole trick or treating game. It's uh, there's all these kids everywhere. They're all being little assholes. It's like the night to be a little asshole. And I, I just become like the coach in me. Like I just like sit and I'm like. Go to the sides. Cars coming. Cars coming. Like, <laughs> Navigate. Yeah. <laughs> but I wore my sunglasses the entire night. It is and in Los Osos where we live. There's no street lights no, in the entire in the entire place. Yeah. So it is pitch black out there. I could bear. I could seeing like little like shadows moving in front of me. It was amazing because I had like no anxiety. I wasn't trying to like you know corral any kids because I couldn't even see the kids. Uh, just I was just follow the wife. Exactly. <laughs> I was just like, okay, she's got these ears on. They're uh -huh. white. I can see them in these glasses. I'm just gonna follow her around <laughs> and of course hd blew my fucking disguise yeah. <laughs> i could see right through you <laughs> hey, did you see it took me even a, t a second to recognize because uh, i have my glasses on well, I, I did pretty i'm like what's up fucking sean and like, <laughs> <laughs> had to be extra didn't you yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> 
Oh man, it was good though. There was a, actually a lot of candy for that. Just three streets, what we did. I was good though. I had a little uh, old fashioned in my uh, coffee cup before I got there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're like, that's ah, this is hot chocolate. Yeah, you know, it's been cold lately. I, I feel like that's a necessity for us. Oh, it was nice. <laughs> it was nice. I was, uh, I was uh, not Barney. I was Fred Flintstone. Mm. Uh, oh, my wife was Wilma. My daughter was Dino, my oldest, mm -hmm. and then my youngest was uh, Pebbles. So, nice. Yeah, <laughs> we look good. Yeah, the kids' costumes were epic. They were <laughs> so good. I love how your kids didn't even stop. You're like, so you and your wife stopped, and we were like talking for a second. Your kids didn't even know that you slowed down. They went to like twelve houses yeah. in the thirty seconds we were conversating. <laughs> they they just went for it, and your kid just stood there. I'm like, hmm, one is not like the other. <laughs> But it was good. It was good. That's because they knew I was going to make them give all their candy away at yeah. the end of the night. So they were like, Shh. did you give them treats? It <laughs> doesn't even matter. Or did you give them toys or whatever? Um, or, they, they, yeah, yeah. We, I can't remember. I, I thought you I were did. switching it this year. Somebody you were just going to let them eat the candy and say, screw it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to like, so I made them, they we got these little Gladware containers. Like you can fill up with this, this container, oh, then okay. the rest of it, you know, you'll give to the switch, which, but apparently the. I think it was called Switch Witch is what she was calling it, but irrelevant. They got him a fish last year, and now this fish has become such a responsibility that they didn't want fish. So they were like, hey, um, there was a note I saw outside their door when I left for work. We had their candy outside their bedroom door, and there was a note on there, please no fish. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what my wife ended up getting them, but uh, it wasn't a fish, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That is crazy. <laughs> like, we've been scared we were going to kill this beta fish for a year. Please don't give us another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, um, so we're going to go on to current events. Uh, speaking of Halloween, a man in Chi Town in Chicago, Illinois, ran out of Halloween candy. <laughs> so he decided to, like, the only logical thing to get like black Ziploc baggies, <laughs> fill them up with gummy bear gummies that are potentially marijuana gummies. Mm -hmm. Potentially, that's yeah, a good a, way. Alleged, to put it. alleged. alleged. <laughs> the reason why the reason why it's alleged because they're the testing of the gummy is still in the works but they reeked of weed yeah. apparently uh, yeah do you want to say what happened what happened like yeah so he uh, i don't he doesn't give a good reason besides i ran out of candy yeah. um so he started ziplocking up a bunch of these i actually probably feel he's like just slang in a black market you know little edibles he's like oh, i'm gonna throw these in there and then i think it was one of the grandmothers i read uh popped it open and was like holy shit this smells like weed um so they started alerting everybody and they, they were like going up and down the street like letting all the parents know like hey it must be somewhere re here we haven't been too many places and i don't think it took too long and they found this 25 year old um if you guys want to see actually we'll post it in the youtube video this guy's mug shot is yeah it's different it's different <laughs> he, seem, he seems like a guy that would do something 100 <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes if we're judging by looks yeah he's he's dosing up kids and they're saying uh possible uh, five, for five. five counts of child endangerment so <laughs> yeah it's so brutal and no it's oh, crazy but we were talking about this with sean uh so this happened right in Chicago, and everybody's been freaking out about fentanyl. Not one case in America happened. <laughs> that's crazy. Like nobody was handing yeah. out. Uh, I think that's but, a little bit of fear mongering uh, yeah. on, that, <laughs> on that jam because, like, uh, you know, the reason you would put fentanyl in something is because of the addictive rate is much higher than whatever substance you're putting it in, and then you know that that reoccurrence, the the rebuy, it's almost a waste of fentanyl unless you're trying to murder people to, yeah. to put it into candy. Cause it's not like they're going to be like, Oh shit, I can go back to my dealer and get that same right. substance. Um, well, I, I just, I don't know how we're getting on fentanyl talk, but, uh, I just listened to a podcast and they were talking about how it actually like getting a uh, fentanyl and cocaine mm -hmm. there. Uh, it's not even like the dealers, local dealers are cutting it. It's because from China fentanyl. So it's legal to sell. Right, so they're selling it out to the world as well as when cocaine is on the same boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, they cross contaminate. Mm. So when they get here, they're already fucked. It only takes a, like a few grains of salt to yes. OD. Um, yeah. So, so they were talking about their, the podcast based out of New York, and they're saying like, yeah, last week a guy was they do kind of like what we do, but with cocaine, that mm -hmm. like go to people's house, drop off, leave, and like all of a sudden this the dealer kept getting calls and he finally picked up he's like what's going on he's like my buddy just died mm -hmm. you have bad shit and he goes okay so he doesn't want to kill people he just mm -hmm. wants to sell drugs mm -hmm. and then he uh ended up calling everybody three people died off it 
Gee, many Christmas. That would weigh on your conscience for yeah. a long time. That's tough. Um, yeah, uh, Dr. Phil was just on Rogan. Um, and that was huge. And it was the yeah, fentanyl. kind of got me off on a few you know, YouTube Googling rabbit hole. Um, mm-hmm. Kind of see like, okay, it looks like it's coming from China, coming through Mexico. That's yep. where a lot of the stepping happens. Yeah. Uh, and but, that, that, yeah. that interview, like even people that don't like Joe Rogan or don't like Dr. Phil, they're like, mm-hmm. that's a, that 15 minute section is like everybody wanting to watch that. You know what's hilarious is I, I actually, I watched that episode and I was like, I feel like the people that don't like. I'm doing it. Hey guys, uh, we just fucked up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, our our the, mixing board decided to shut off, so we had to plug it in. But we're back. Uh, all good. All good. Sean. So I, I think that if um, we we're talking about Joe Rogan and uh, Dr. Phil, how Rogan having Phil on, and how they have like different um, fan bases. Because I really do feel like if you are that older white woman, Midwest, watching Dr. Phil during the day, you know, making sure you're keeping your kids safe by watching Phil. You're probably not watching Ari Shafir piss in a bottle and pla- then pass out on Rogan. Yeah, um, which, drugging Burt Kreischer. Yes, or drugging Burt. <laughs> or uh, he, he just had the most hilarious episode where he opened it up in a Halloween costume, ripping bomb. I mean, like smoking major weed. It's uh, I, f- I feel like those are a little different. Uh, yeah, little different like fan, clientele. Little different fan not bases. clientele, but yeah, fan yeah, base. almost clientele. I mean, okay, one way to look at it. <laughs> It kind of is, huh? They're paying for something. Yeah. Oh, oh, I also had another point I was going to make that fentanyl, if, if we're looking from a federal government standpoint, cannabis is actually a higher controlled substance than fentanyl. Just throwing it out there. Hang yeah. on. I got to throw up real quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I, I don't know. I don't know how many people have died um, OD'd from cannabis. Zero. So I do know. <clears throat> um, I don't know how many people from fentanyl, but I bet you it's more than zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I saw something the other day. They were like saying, we kind of, I think it's off the, the Dr. Phil things. Like the kids these days from what high school on, they can't recreationally try drugs like we could. If we really wanted to. Oh, because they're worried of, of yeah, being laced. Like, yeah, like, I wouldn't want to, like, try anything. I'm not saying you need to or want to, but if you have that, if you are that person to, like, recreational have a line, I don't yeah. know. I, I yeah. don't know people like that. I know they're out there and have friends that are like uh-huh. that, but, like... If you want, to, I don't do it. That's a great point, though. Mm-hmm. Like it's, um, it's almost like a. I'm surprised they haven't grabbed onto that. The anti, you know, whatever substance user, be like, oh my goodness, let's do these. Let's use this as a scare tactic. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. if you shoot up heroin, it may have fentanyl in there, or if you, you know, you're just trying a line for one yeah. time, you know, or no. actually, the the big issue is the pills. Is a, is a pressed pill with yeah. fentanyl in there because you f- you feel like you're getting a really accurate dose, and you're also feeling like oh. It's a pill form, most likely made by a ph- pharmaceutical company. You know, they they aren't going to put a dose in there that ODs you. But what people don't know is these are being pressed in presses in Mexico where they're mixing this shit up in their bathtub. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it looks like, oh, you know, it's a blue. That's, you know, yeah, what they're called. So it's, uh, I think that's what one of the big problems is. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy. It, it's so true, though. Like years ago, you didn't really hear a lot of people talk about like taking drugs and dying for the first time. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's a thing like, Oh, like there's a chance. Right. Like, Oh, if you have that certain system where your body just doesn't accept it now, it's like a thing. A it's big like, thing. there's yeah. a legitimate chance that you go out to a party and you do a line of Coke, you could die. Yeah. Like that's it. Like that's, yeah. and it's, it's not cause of the drug itself. It's just cause of fentanyl. for sure. And so I guess you could argue as far as legalization goes is it could be, it could be a controlled, you know, there could be quality control measures in place and then the responsible use, um, you can maybe use responsibly and not be worrying about OD, but I really like what you like, or it's interesting what you had said about maybe using it as a, a an anti-drug rhetoric of hey you don't ever know and that's what i would tell my kids you know if, if i think if i'm zooming on my kids are too young now to be educating them um and they've grew up in a dispensary for the first few years of their life so they may have a <laughs> little bit of a jaded ex- perception on it but um if i'm going to tell my kids that i will educate them on the risk of it and be like hey you know there's other substances that are have probably been mixed in because you know of the the crime element of trying to make more money so totally. yeah that's that's really interesting issue yeah, i think that Thank, thank you, thank yeah. you. Uh, point for me. Point yeah, for me. Check. Yeah, you should. You should run a dare program. Oh, and that, could be, that could be your <laughs> shtick. Oh, you could dress up like the dog. I'm pretty sure there was a dog. There was a dog. Yeah, it wasn't there a the dog. Dare dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
That's so you had those, you had there in the, I guess it was, it was a nationwide thing. I think so. Yeah. Did you have one? My mom's friend was the, the, their officer. And like, I would always run into him at the fair. And oh, that really? Was like the thing. Yeah. And they look in your eyes back, Jared, you look high. I was like, bro. <laughs> it's like, I, I actually didn't smoke weed until like way later. I was, it was like after, almost after high school. Really? Yeah. Uh, freshman year for me. Yeah. So it was like end of senior year. I was like, and I, I had never bought weed for myself or anything. I just tried it with some friends. Handed them like a twenty bucks every few weeks, like, hey, thanks for smoking me out every time oh, I come yeah. over. You know, like, yeah. so I was like, I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want to take it home. I just, right. yeah. I just want to be able to come over and smoke without feeling like I'm taking your stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's, well, of course you would do that. You're such a great person. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, um, the next thing is uh, marijuana and voting. Right now, it's mm, midterms. It's a big thing. Midterms. Um, we have, uh, what is it, five states going up for uh, recreational legalization? Yeah, a lot of red states, too. Yeah. Um, what did it say? Like uh, uh, four out of the seven or something? Or, or like some of the most conservative. Three out of four? Yeah, some of the most three conservative states in the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you got some info on that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Our, Arkansas would be like the first state in the deep south. I wondered what the deep south was. I Googled that, found a few different answers. But uh, they would say like it's the first state in the deep south um, that would that would approve it. Um, some of the pushback I thought was really interesting. I was reading, you know, cause I, I try to like see both sides of the argument. Cause a lot of times you can see both sides of the argument. And one, one of the points that they were making was, um, that they felt like it was going to increase crime. One, I guess one of the points that I, I disagreed with, they said that legalization will ultimately increase, um, like petty crime. And I just was thinking like, well, but if you remove the criminal element of of this and how many people are you currently arresting for you know minor possession things like that like i just mm-hmm. didn't i didn't really understand how that could uh how that could be i actually would argue it would go the other way in, in my I, I'm thinking about traveling like traveling with pot like say i go to a state that doesn't legally yeah. have marijuana mm-hmm. i'm probably going to want to bring some with me like mm-hmm. and that's not you know like besides lax yeah we know like you can have some modicum according to yeah them, but it's still it's such a risk like i don't i i'd rather be able to go to colorado and just get weed in colorado mm-hmm. once i get there like mm-hmm. rather than having to worry about taking it with me exactly absolutely i fly all over this country with weed and uh, one of these days is some something's, something's gonna happen i have a feeling well it's like if you land it depends on where you're landing right if they want to do anything i think so i yeah. don't think anybody wants to do anything to no. be honest with you no um like the sheriffs and well, Los you know, they don't want to do the paper except for russia we can snap back to that real quick. yeah <laughs> oh Brittany. Sorry. yeah much much love out to you Brittany. i'm sorry Presumably about She's she still not yeah. home yet. No, I don't think so. No, no they're saying like nine, nine years. years. Nine, nine years. Nine years. Nine years. I, I remember yeah. the confirmation. Fuck, I remember man. him like them saying that they were going to try to get her back, but honestly, I haven't seen anything since. Yeah, so. She was kind of. Like, I mean, she might be slightly post her prime. I don't really follow WNBA that much, just judging by her age. No, she, though, but she's no, like she's still good. Still the be- the best female basketball player that's ever been. It's you know? still the sh- most shocking thing we've talked about it before, obviously, but the most shocking thing is that she'd been playing basketball over there for like the past six seasons. Yeah, yeah. and so she. She like knows the rules and she knows she'd like I do this like, probably every time. Yeah, not only that, do you think but it was wartime. Given her yeah, like, given her a little bit of a like, hey, you're almost like a national treasure to us. You're the best female basketball player in the world. No, they said like she is well liked at for her basketball team. Yeah. And then they just it, it, I really if there was no war going on, she would not. Yeah, she wouldn't because it would happen right before that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, okay, back to it in a few of the other states. Then we got North Dakota, the North and South Dakota, Arkansas, um, Missouri, which I'm for. I, I lived ten years in St. Louis in STL, uh, so I, I did a little bit of a diving into what they got going on. And um, but one thing I found interesting in STL is there's a there's a huge battle between. Um, the mayor and which she's African American, and then there's a lot of like uh, like pro legalization, but African American heavy groups within St. Louis, within Kansas City, which I where I also also used to live, um, and they they're kind of battling it out. So the mayor is saying, "Hey, like I'm not anti legalization, but this current uh, ballot initiative is going to." basically make rich white people be able to come in here and run the weed game and a lot all of you guys that are out here like petitioning for it on the streets um again, they won't reap the benefits exactly they won't reap the benefits so there's there's kind of this big uh clash going on right now um but between couldn't couldn't they do something similar to like new york where they were 
saying that only if you mm -hmm. had like a pre-related read charge could you actually open I, I think they could yeah and california's done that a lot of states have done that. i think that they i didn't seem to me did i read all like 40 some pages of the legislation no but it didn't seem to me i never saw social equity mentioned anywhere anywhere in there um but it was interesting because those i don't know how i don't know what the percentage is i don't want to put a percentage on it but it's very uh, much more African American than here. Um, like, was one of the things when I moved away from St. Louis, I noticed I was like, oh my god, like, where's where's all the where's all the fun happening? Where's all the music? Where's all, the, <laughs> where's all this good stuff? Um, uh, but yeah, so the, the, but those groups are you know who run that city, uh, both yeah. St. Louis and Kansas City, and uh, they're all kind of battling. They're they're not on the same boat about it, which I thought was interesting. Um, another thing, Missouri, which is cool, is they're going to allow people to buy three ounces a day which is triple what you can buy in California. California that's yeah. insane. Yeah, three ounces a day. Um, you can also grow your own plants. It kind of had a similar thing where you could have uh, six babies, six mediums, and six full-on flowering plants at a time. And then, and then you could donate up to three ounces a day to a person. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Okay, did the people that run the oh. black market write these laws? <laughs> like, what, let's go, go on here. Three ounces you could gift three ounces to a single person in a day what the benefit of that uh black market weed sale. I don't know. That's, that's it that, that's one hundred percent. yeah that's all i'm seeing yeah. i mean it's the same like gifting a car yeah. Like you can gift it and then not pay tax. Well, that that's how they used to do it in California back in the in the old prop days, you know, pre twenty eighteen. That that's exactly what you do. You were gifting it all to everybody, and you were just expected you would get donations to, for your cause. Oh, you remember really? all that slang? Like if you be texting your dealers like twenty seventeen, you're in Cali, and you're like, hey, I need to pick up the. Okay, cool. It's a donation of twenty five dollars. Right. I literally remember hitting up a homie and being like, yo, I need whatever it was, like a quarter or something, and he was like, all right, and he came to my house. And he was like, here you go, bro, quarter for you. He's like, can I borrow 50 bucks? And I was like, yeah, don't worry about paying me back. <laughs> Just as a joke. Why not? Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were communicating wow. in text message and stuff like that back in the day, it would always be, um, hey, there's no charge on this. Um, or, you know, hey, we accept donations. $25 is the suggested amount. Things like that. Yeah. Well, you just were making jokes about it. I mean, it was just me and the homies. We didn't do it through a business. But yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah. It's crazy that that was all it took. <laughs> yeah. The modern day version of that is like a nonprofit organization. <laughs> yeah. <but> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, Jordan, our buddy who's a barber. Oh, yeah. The barbers, they, they're they getting taxed on like uh, Venmo and stuff, right? Mm. Oh, so yeah. If they put, so like when uh, we give them money, you say like pizza. Because mm -hmm. if mm. you put like barbershop or it's something, a, they're going to get weight. So they didn't, yeah. They did, the Venmo hasn't had people separate business accounts from personal so, accounts? Something like that. I don't know how they do it, but that's like. That's that's all I yeah, I, I, I never dug deep into that one because yeah. I don't know. He just told me, it, and I'm like, all right, George, I don't want to screw yeah. you over. He's so like, he, did my he say, like, put does. pizza, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, like, yeah. put something out. And, but, like, he even goes, like, oh, don't put down the barbershop. And, like, they will put, like, scissors. And he's like, well, that's, that's enough. That's enough, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's they've, they've seen that come through 35 times. Ex I think they're going to start to get wise to exactly. it. 100%. Yeah, okay. One last thing I thought was cool about Missouri um, is – they said they're going to 6% of the taxes that they collect are going to go to expungement of uh, people's records and to mm. getting currently people incarcerated out of prison. I thought that was huge. Like 6% is a fat percentage. I mean, and from a person that lived in that state for a long time and was smoking weed all the time, I just, I, all, I knew all my friends. I got, somehow I n never got busted there. Um, but I know a lot of people personally that had. So it's really cool that there are states like, hey, if this pass isn't legalized, we're going to have so much money to go and expunge everybody's record and to get people that are currently incarcerated. I just thought that was like, that's that's awesome. I, I just don't see why every state doesn't look at it like that. Mm-hmm. That like you can help, you can, you're helping your community, you're helping your money flow. Mm -hmm. I just... Don't get this. Don't know. Fed, the feds need to get on board. Then all the states would see like, oh, okay. Um, it's it's time for us to get on board. I think yeah, I think yeah, that'd that kind of be the catalyst. Wouldn't make a difference. It's just yeah. when Canada's beating you at something, you know we're doing something wrong. We're doing something <laughs> wrong. It just... If those beta males up there are beating us at anything, hey, like we just, I don't, I don't, need, I don't think. <laughs> I apologize for any Canadian list. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just like freedom down here, yeah, exactly. and you know, you that's, know that's kind of our know. thing. <laughs> kind of our thing. Uh, 1776 freedom. Heard of it? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, and then so they're saying the most 
one that aren't i'm not speaking english right now uh the dakotas are the one that probably they're borderline least, least they don't really of. know yeah there's like 75 people in each of those states <laughs> combined so i don't know <laughs> what side note we're doing a lot of side notes why isn't just one dakota oh. just make them one dakota there's no reason to make i mean it the population themselves. wouldn't really I, make a big difference i mean <laughs> In, with the Carolinas, same thing. Yeah, nobody likes some cities. Nobody likes there. South Carolina. No, uh, I'm ho- hopefully you know this uh, midterm, more and more states make it better, and then we'll be able to the source you know, nationwide. Can, the day that we can like go into a bar, light up a joint, order a drink, bro. <sighs> like even outside, like even like let me come inside, order my beer, and then go outside and sit next to the guy smoking uh-huh. a cigarette and be like, hey man, how's your day going? Hey. Um, was at a concert. It was uh, I was at an Incubus concert a few weeks ago, and uh, there everybody starts. Light- we were down in the pit area, the standing GA, um, and everybody starts lighting up. And they so there's like three or four people all around lighting up, and then these the security people come down, and I'm just like waiting for this confrontation. And the guy's like, "Hey, hey, hey! There's a smoking section just right over there on the corner. It's like we don't care. Just go over there and smoke." And these guys, all the people like looked at their girls and their friends are like, okay. Yeah. And then like, yeah, 20 people just kind of funneled all the way up to the cigarette uh, smoking. Vina? Evina Robles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I know what chair you're talking about. And it's actually really what? nice over yeah, there. Yeah, it's actually really nice. Yeah. They have it all set up for, yeah. and they for let smoking. You smoke nice and spread out. I, I, I'm not saying that it's a sign like oh, somewhere or they're advertising it, but I watched a security guard come down and tell multiple people. It just, I watched him like, could it? point up there and then all the people didn't put it out they were like oh okay and then they just scurried over there to the to the other side we're going to a concert yeah and, do, and passing out cards yeah we should do that well, wh- we should go to every concert and randomly drop them everywhere F- you know? just, yeah, all over the ground <laughs> oh i tripped and i happen to have a hundred cards or, in my pocket yeah just get somebody there really early and have them put one on every seat oh there you go i'm like they, minimum like they're gonna see it as soon as they sit down yeah and then vina robles calls they're like hey <laughs> stop doing that oh no that's blue diamond that's blue diamond <laughs> yeah, like, I actually I, I went to dirty heads and sublime we never got to our seat Never, never. We we walked in, we got our drinks, we started walking around, I think we went and smoked, and then we were walking by the VIP booths, and the guy we were with was like, screw it, I'm sitting right in here. And so he just popped into one of the VIP booths and sat mm-hmm. down. So me and Jasper were like, oh, okay, why not? Let's sit in here. And so we're chilling and watching the show, and this lady comes walking by, and he turns around, looks at her, goes, hey, can we get some drinks? And she just comes over, yeah, what can I get you guys? Or <laughs> brings us drinks in the VIP booth. Something like 45 minutes later, some other lady comes over and she goes, can I see your tickets? And we were like, eh, we don't have them, so let's go down to the floor. <laughs> we went down to the dance floor and stayed there for the rest of the night. There you go. <laughs> never, even, that's not bad. Never made it to the seat. <laughs> yeah, fuck the chairs. <laughs> yeah, don't need them. That was the robots too, right? That was Vina, yeah. Yeah, they're actually nice. I, I went and saw uh, Slayer there. Uh, different group of people than you two. But <laughs> no, very nice, Jesus. actually. I think it I've was, only was seen like Amy Schumer and Dirty Heads and Sublime. Uh-huh. Just total opposite things. Yeah, uh, yeah. Slayer, um, Behemoth, and somebody else. It, it was that I thought about going down to the pit, and then I just I didn't want to die. This is Slayer concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting time to ask. Are you coming to Honey Drops? Yeah, I'm going to Honey. Yes, Drops. coming to Honey Drops. You yeah. should come to Honey Drops. California Honey Drops is December, the band. December second. What are they? Amazing. They are. They're amazing. Is what, what they are? No, I mean genre like. It's fun, hor- yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, the like, like, awesome, yeah. yeah awesome live band, group. like uh, the the lead singer, he has perfect pitch. It's like one of the, like, the things about it. He just he has an amazing voice. But a I lot of music or a lot of instruments, right? A lot of instruments, a lot of like, fun. It's like yeah, a they, seven they piece, make eight. things out of stuff. Like yeah. the, one of them, like is using like a bucket guitar or something uh-huh. weird. Yeah, they have all kinds of crazy stuff. Really good show, worth it. Sounds yeah, good to me. December. I, here's my favorite part about it. They made their album a live album. So if you oh, listen to the album. That. It sounds like their yeah, actual show. That's, <laughs> cool. that's cool. Yeah, I'll be vibing for that. Yeah. And then in January, we're going to, my wife and I are going to see Reverend Horton Heat, the rockabilly band. They're going to be at the Siren too. So Sirens just got to be. Yeah, they just know what they're doing. Paul and Kelly are amazing. Yeah. Hence, we need to talk to them. Yeah. At the company. Oh, Honestly. collab. I, I have talked to them a few times about the source and something. That's cool. So that's uh, hopefully uh, all those uh, weed. Uh, uh, whatever laws get passed, but since we just had a uh, somebody decide to give a whole bunch of kids <laughs> edibles, um, 
I want to apologize for laughing at that. That's not really that funny. They couldn't not die funny at all. They couldn't but. die. And I think the only reason I found it kind of comical is because of all the fear mongering about fentanyl that was yeah. going on prior to Halloween. Like, check all your kids' candy. The somebody's injecting. I almost said a race, and that would have been really bad. Injecting a injecting fentanyl in there, and you know, like of course that as we talk about, none of that happens. Right. So, so then that when I saw it was edibles, for some reason I was I was less uh, offended by it because it had been fentanyl 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 for the week mm -hmm. leading up so it just seemed like a little more I'm so innocuous curious if it's so like crazy. legitimately thc gummies or if it's just like he had some baggies that he had weed in and he just had some gummies we'll and figure he was it just out. like oh but, i don't have anything else oh that's amazing you know I, either you way know what don't repackage food no. candy for halloween please give it in sealed packages but this yes ne and we will yes. follow up on this next week oh I, yeah i 100 gotta know where that goes if he gets out of jail we may have him on the pod okay we're gonna we'll get him, <laughs> we'll get him in the studio <laughs> we're bringing him out yeah <laughs> so you ran out of candy yeah. <laughs> all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> from prison, we got yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the cuffs off him, please? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the question is, what is your worst edible story? You okay. said yours is pretty I, good. I, yeah, Should mine, we start no, with his? Mine's terrible, but yes, we can start with his. Okay. okay well, Terribly great. Yeah, I um, I, I, a quick one that wasn't so bad, but I did an isolation tank session, which is a, an hour long in a tank where the water is the same temperature of a body and osmolarity. In a basement or a real place? In a real place. Okay. Yes, yes, um, no basements. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had taken too many milligrams and totally lost track of time and in a bad way of like, I feel like I've been in here an hour and had been like, 12 minutes and so i kept getting i ruined the whole experience because i kept getting out because you can't have your phone in there or a clock or anything like that and so i my internal clock was so off that i got out like 10 times in the hour thinking that i was like oh it's had to have been an hour and it'd been like four more minutes oh my that's so, crazy so we get done and i was like how was it it was great for me i was like yeah i was so focused more on stressful. the time <laughs> i was like i i need to go take a nap or something like i'm not in a good <laughs> i'm not in a good state right now definitely got to get back and do that again because that sounds for sure I, I wanna, I, I, I do that. i've always wanted to do it too yeah. and i just yeah. yeah never never had a chance to do that one that's mm. interesting maybe i'll do employee gift cards for how oh, for christmas you I'm, know I'm little christmas gift. yeah i'm not mad at that mad at, i would not be mad i'd mm -hmm. be wild yeah all right are you ready no i, I got one mine's simple because i i never really did edibles or anything growing up so like there was one in 2019 at the fair I wasn't drinking. I took medicine and they're like, you're going to die if you do alcohol. I'm like, all right, I'll take edibles instead. So took the edibles. They were some Anna's coworker gave it to us. Mm, homemade. Uh, they were, they were uh sour tape. So they were from something, okay. but no packaging. Yes. So I'm like, all right, I don't know how much it is. I don't know my tolerance yet. I have a high tolerance that I know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was fuckered up. <laughs> and I we like I put it on like Moro Bay ate them. Got to In and Out. Mm -hmm. I am pretty fucking high. I get a double double and I just shove it in my mouth. <laughs> and my like they're like, okay, you're eating really fast. I'm like, all right, I'm done. They're like still eating. And I'm like, all right, this concert. We're gonna go see Iggy Azalea and, <laughs> uh, and Demi Lovato. You Ooh. know? So I'm like, I'm not drinking. I need this. So I'm going there all of a sudden right when because it was the mix of don't know how much I had eating that food so fast. So right when I got out of the car, I was like, uh, what's going on? I had to find a bush, did my business in the bush, wasn't high anymore. I had to watch Iggy Lazay. You, you, you <laughs> puked on edibles? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was more the food. It was more the food. It probably anything. was the double double in the, the, thirteen yeah, seconds. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like it, I was high, and then I was like, so the mixture of that, yeah. and then the food. So I threw up everything, and then I was sober during the concert. Mm. It was very depressing. Yeah, that's not a good concert to be sober. For. No, no. I mean, Iggy's. My my wife knows mm -hmm. her booty was banging that night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they kept doing it on the big screen, and we were kept looking at the big screen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll have five of you. <laughs> I, won't, I won't leave you hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, it was an okay concert. Anyways, yeah. you so it was, it. I was still okay. Yeah, it was okay. I'm it was okay. That's good. Um, huh? Mm -hmm. I was there. Oh, no. oh was D was there. was there. It was not bad. It was it was like a good concert, but the booty. Were was you bad. stoned? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, he, he was like 12 at that yeah, moment. It'd be really oh, yeah. funny if he walked by. He's like, yeah, but I saw a bush with like a, a bunch humble, of throw a, an, un, an unchewed cheeseburger just on the top of the bush. Like, I don't even know what was going on. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's horrible. But now, now I know how to handle my my head. Yeah, now he needs five hundred milligrams yeah. to take mm-hmm. the edge off. Just to drive down the road. Yeah, <laughs> mind oh, you, joking, oh. joking, <laughs> joking. <laughs> okay, on to Jared. So, um, I used to get a bunch of like key raw cash, whatever, from this guy and sell it to friends, whatever. Um, I had like an ounce of it. And I went to the store and I got some of those like pre-made dough cookies you just throw in the oven for five minutes and they're good to go. Okay. So I took it and I kind of like just took a couple spoonfuls Bro. and like put it in and like covered the ass with the pre- Oh my God. I, I didn't realize like yeah. how, I didn't, I, I didn't even know if it was going to work. I was like, can you just throw this? Whoa, I still don't think it's going to work. It I- worked fabulously. Oh sir. my God. I was thinking. <laughs> Too good. No. Okay. So. We got so high, I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't lay down. I couldn't sit up. I, my, my best friend at so the what time. What were you doing? We were sitting in the room, literally doing this, like trying to survive. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even kidding you. It was like the, like, couldn't, like, you'd lay down for like a minute and then you'd be like, okay, I can't lay down. And you'd sit up and then you couldn't. My friend looked at me straight in the face and said, um, where do I throw up? <laughs> and I was like, the bathroom? And he was like, oh, yeah. Like, just bad like it was bad it was like the next two days he like would look at me and i would it was like he couldn't figure out what to say what was your like day after like oh oh it was brutal like, yeah and and it was back bait yard days oh so we're standing down <laughs> at the bait yard trying to bait fish just hung over so <laughs> so high probably still but uh, <laughs> it was it was uh it was. I remember talking to him like months later about it, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't think I ever want to eat edible ever again." Like it was that bad. That is crazy because <laughs> normally just, you got to like decarboxylate it or something like that, and butter and get it in the fat. Don't yeah, know what to tell you. Five minutes in the oven. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes in these little pre-made dough cookies, and that was all it took. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been because it was hash, maybe. Maybe that had something to do yeah, with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, that sounds like a but, good experience. Um, yeah, yeah. That was um. That was, a, that was a mistake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's just say I've never made edibles since. Like my mom, my mom bakes up brownies, but she does the same thing. She does like the dick in the dirt brownies. They're like, you <laughs> you, you well, eat well, one well. and comatose. You never dick heard of the dick the in the dirt brownies? Have you heard of dick in the dirt? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it sounds like a drink. They should have made a drink. That well, I mean, that. they're probably it's audio sp- motherfucker. They just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the AKA, also known as dick in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> But just like I, a hot super edibles. No, I somebody else said it to me one day and it stuck in my head. Okay, I'm I'm gonna a, about yep. my mom's brownies specifically. Call it them dick in the dirt. Okay, I'll put that down. Mm-hmm. I'm looking that up. Do you want me to have her make some brownies and I'll bring you some? I think it just means when you're passed yes. out on your stomach. He she, he just offered outside, me edibles. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. okay. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'm <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I think that was a good episode. Thank you, everybody, uh, for listening. Yeah, wrapping it up. Uh, one thing: uh, the seventh through the twentieth, we're going to have a a food drive, food can drive mm-hmm. um, here on the Central Coast. Uh, if you, what we're doing right now, if you donate, uh, one per person will get, or you'll get an entry for a raffle, one per person. Uh, we have two uh, prize packages going to be ready for you guys. So if you're in the town, ta- uh, in the county, from Paso to Santa Barbara. Donate to your driver at that time, and then we'll uh, get you all situated. Um, and then we'll let you know the prizes later. Yeah, we had truck loads last year. Yeah. It took me multiple loads in my truck to the food bank. and It was people, insane. It was insane. We had so like, where did you get all this out. at? And then we found some extra in cars, like after we got everything <laughs> into the restaurant. Right. So then I just went out straight to the encampments, and I was like, hey, got yeah, some giving out food. Yeah, yeah, just slaying it at the encampments. Yeah. We had so much. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, please donate. We'll yeah. pass it on right oh. before the holidays hit. Everybody will appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to do a don't we're going to do that might do toys for tots too for mm-hmm. december so that'll be a good way to uh you know give out give, give back yeah. give back mm-hmm. to our community um just closing it out a uh, podcast will be out on monday as well as youtube um at 8 30 uh we are on apple google spotify youtube uh on ig we're trying to ramp up our numbers on uh ig for buds talking buds and the source slow if we can get everybody and anybody sign up like comment share uh as well as our podcast um 
We post but, a lot of dope stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> we do. Um, Buds Talking Buds on Twitter, Facebook, and IG. Uh, the source slow.com for what you, whatever your delivery needs are. The source.cc for IG and YouTube at the source slow. So please hook it up with us. Hook up with us. Be happy in the comments. If you listen to this, tell us your crazy edible story. That'd oh, be awesome. Yeah. Yes. We get some so, good ones. We'll bring it up yeah. next week. Love yeah. it. Either uh, DM uh, IG or post it on the uh, YouTube comments and we'll share it as well. And uh, yeah, uh, everybody, thank you. Stay Appreciate high. you.